Hello friends, welcome back to another video tutorial in Photoshop rendering for architects. I am architect Sonu Rai from Glad Studio and in this today video tutorial we are going to learn how to do elevation rendering in Photoshop. So if you are working in your AutoCAD or Revit or any other uh, software program and if you want to render your elevation in Photoshop, I will tell you a step by step method how you can do this. So uh, I am working in my Revit project and if you are working in AutoCAD you can make your PDF file or you can also make a EPS format and for that I have made tutorial in my previous uh, tutorial of Photoshop and if you are using Revit also you can create a PDF format and then export it to Photoshop. So I have saved my file of elevation in Revit project. So I am going to uh, use that in my uh, <laughs> tutorial. So let's do this. We'll go and I'm going to this file folder of elevation.pdf and I'm going to open this with Photoshop. I'm going to open with Photoshop CC 2019. And now this window will appear import PDF. So I am going to this page option. You will uh, you need not to rename this. I am going to uh, crop to media box, and I will uh, leave this default setting. I will click OK. So uh, now this is our file format, and we will rename this. And this background should be white. So you are required to create a layer for this. Then this elevation will appear <coughs> here and it's in png format so you can see this so i am going to double click this and i am going to rename this as our elevation and if you are <coughs> exporting plan you will rename this as a plan so this is one layer so and now you are required to create the next layer or background so i am going to create a new layer from this layer create new layer and I am going to double click this and rename this as background so this is a step by step tutorial so it will be very helpful so now after creating background you are required to go to foreground color and click this and change this to white now with the help of pan bucket tool you can uh, put color here white color so I'm going to press G command and first you are required to select elevation here and I'm going to select background and now our background is in white color here so after the, the applying color with the help of paint bucket tool drag this background layer just below the elevation layer and now our elevation is quite visible and now we can start rendering this elevation so after this i am going to first create layers for boundary wall and this is um, one of my client project and this is an apartment so i am going to first uh, create layers for boundary wall so let's do this i am going to my elevation so whenever you are creating layer you are required to be in your basic elevation or plan layer so then it will be uh, it will select the layer otherwise it will be very difficult so i am going to first use this magic wand tool here and i am going to click on this boundary press alt and zoom this and this is the layer which we have created in dash line and if you want to select more and whole of your boundary wall Press shift on your keyboard and select all the boundary wall so I have selected this boundary wall so I am in my elevation layer after this you are required to go here create new layer and click this and now double click this and rename this as a boundary wall so this is boundary wall layer 
and now I am going to apply any color here, light color and press G on your keyboard to activate paint bucket tool or you can also do this from toolbar and color is applied here then press ctrl D on your keyboard and you are out of this command escape select tool so after this I am going to apply a texture here so I am going to <coughs> double click this boundary wall or you can right click and after double clicking or right clicking you are required to go here blending options click this and this layer style will uh, open here and in this you are required to go to pattern overlay and double click this and you can apply any uh, stone texture I have already created and in the last video tutorial I have told that how you will create your edit pattern of textures whatever texture you are downloading you can uh, define pattern and save in your texture folder so now this is the stone texture so double click this and you will be here in pattern overlay you can change the opacity here and you can change the scale so I am going to change the scale so you can see here take this stone texture is applied to boundary wall now I am going to use this inner shadow give some depth to our wall here and now uh, you can double click this also I can change the distance of your shadow depth it will give depth to our elevation and Photoshop is very very handy and useful for architects for interior designers and in other construction professionals so I am going to click OK here so we have created our boundary wall next I am going to give this extrusion any color so again you are required to go here elevation and then create a layer so I am going to select magic wand tool alt here to zoom and now I am going to select this one shift press shift on your keyboard and select others shift shift so now I am going to create a layer and I am going to rename this boundary extrusion so uh, I will apply any color for timing and I want to give any dark chocolate color here so I will press G command and apply color if you want to apply any texture or material you can download it and apply so next is this entrance gate so I am going to first apply this Virasat golden vista so I don't want this text here so you can write in your Photoshop so while importing also you can change this or after exporting you can change later on also so I am going to first create a layer here so I will go to my elevation and I am going to first trace this I don't want that text I will write in Photoshop backspace So now uh, this is the layer and you are going to create new layer for this and I am going to name as entrance A and I want to apply any texture here so first I will apply color so that you can understand I am going to press G and now text is disappeared and we can apply our own material here so I will go here right click or double click I am going to blending option and now I am going to pattern overlay and I will give this this text I will apply wood here 
cladding, HPL or any other material. So I am going to apply this and finish OK. So this is applied here. Now we are required to do this rendering here. This is column and this is the design of entrance gate. So I am going to create another material layer here. So I am going to my elevation again and select the magic wand tool. Press shift and select other column here. And now I am going to create a new layer here. And I am going to name that entrance B. And I will apply any color here. I want same color like boundary. And I will press G here. Control D. So now this is the entrance and I want to uh, put another gate here realistic gate and side gate here so how we will do in Photoshop so I am going to uh, my folder here I have downloaded some PNG files you can download it from internet and I am going to apply this gate PNG file this is front row and I am going to drag this to Photoshop and now we will scale this and we will scale this to our elevation height and we will match the scale I'm going to and right click this and we will then use skew and I will resize this as per your elevation then press this one move tool and finish this so we have applied gate alt to zoom in and zoom out and you can see we have applied gate so now I want to apply side gate here so you can apply the same or you can apply any other design also so for timing I have downloaded this and I am going to drag and drop here this is all PNG file and I have also told you can convert your JPG image also in PNG you can refer my previous tutorial and you can apply gate also so likewise you can adjust the height of this also and I am going to finish this. So now our entrance is almost ready. So now we are required to do with this wall here and railing. So I am going to render this first this portion. This is extrusion here. You can see some window and cladding work is done. So I am going to again uh, magic wand tool and I am going to my elevation here and magic wand tool and I am going to create layer for this and I will create a new layer so I am going to rename this HPL cladding exterior so select this and now I am going to apply any brown color here I control D and now I am going to right click this blending option pattern overlay and we will uh, keep this material only this is SPL cladding and you can like this and you can also use uh, some shadow effect by drop shadow you can see some shadow effect is coming like zoom this here you can see this is the shadow effect you can play with this if you want to give depth to your elevation so Photoshop is very very uh, interesting and you can do very easily in Photoshop so then after this I'm going to finish OK and now this cladding work is done 
So now uh, I want to apply window, glass window. So I am going to my Google here and I will search glass texture here. PNG or we can download this and I am going to JPG only. So I will go to image. So I am going to download this one you can download any other also for understanding I am downloading this and now I am going to select create a layer for window so I am going to first use magic wand and then I will go to elevation and I will select this select this this one this one shift press shift to create other also other window layer Control Z Almost all windows are ready. I am going to create a layer and I am going to name this as window and I will apply any light blue color here. You can apply color also and I am going to press G and all the colors on window are applied. Ctrl D to get rid of this. You can leave this color also if you want to give some realistic effect. I will go and look for my uh, texture last texture and i'm going to right click this and open with photoshop and now i'm going to edit define pattern okay and close these textures now i'm going to right click blending option right click and the blending option and I'm going to pattern overlay and you are required to go this pattern and this arrow select this and look for your glass texture so I am here and glass texture is applied I will leave this like this only so you can see our glass texture is applied now I want my door texture 
and you can also apply here so I am going for downloading wood texture here in jpg image and I will go and quickly download this you can download any high resolution I am going to save this as in material texture and now I am going to this folder and right click this and open with photoshop and now you are in photoshop you are required again to go to edit and define use this to click this define pattern and click ok and after that this layer will be saved in your um, library so uh, now i am going to close this and I am going to create a layer for door so we are required to go in elevation and you select magic point tool Just press shift select this also and press shift again Likewise, you are required to select all the doors You can give all the minor details So if I am missing uh, any finer detail Because I want to tell you You can do finer details also later on after learning this like this space Let's shift and select all So now door is layer is selected here. I am going to create a layer for door and now I will apply any brownish color here and press G command and color is applied to all the doors. Control D to get rid of the command and now I am going to right click blending option. and i am going to pattern overlay and now we will apply the door material so i am going to here and you can see door material is applied you can give some depth here so you can give shadow effect so i am going to give inner shadow and you can see here some depth has come this shadow effect and likewise uh, you can create this frame also door frame and door window uh, like this process only so i am leaving this because we are having less time so i am going to uh, first uh, create color for this indoor so i am going to first again elevation mode and now i will use magic wand tool here and we will start creating wall color here so I am going to select all color here So now uh, it's all selected. I am going to create balcony wall. I will rename this as balcony wall.
and I will apply any light color here. Press G, Control D, and now we can give depth to this color, or we can apply texture also. So I am going to blending option, and after this you should click this inner shadow, so that it should look depth here. And if you want to apply any texture, you can go to pattern overlay and you can apply any texture finish here. So I want to give a stone finish, so I will go and quickly apply this. And you can change the opacity here. Click OK. Now uh, we are going to create this extrusion here. This is extrusion. So I am going to first select magic wand tool, go to elevation mode and start selecting. So I am going to give some color here and you can also do this for this thing also want you can apply any other material So I am going to apply any layer here and I will name that extrusion 2 and I will apply any dark color here, dark gray color here and press G here, you see Ctrl D and I want something better. I want to match with this wood, so I will apply. So now uh, we are here, and I am going to select this one sorry we are required to go to elevation otherwise this way if you are in next to any other layer whole building will be select that layer will be selected so I am going to elevation and start selecting missing layers here so I want to apply any color here These are all slab and beam. So I am going to again apply. I want cladding work only here. So I am going to create layers and cladding. I will type here cladding 2. 
apply this color control D and now I am going to blending option pattern overlay and I am going to select this one only and you can scale click OK so now it's looking good now we are applying same glass material and if you want to railing here for this boundary but some lines are coming here so I am going to first select my elevation here and select this railing here and I will show you one you can apply in all other so I am going to apply any layer here I will name this railing glass and you can apply any light blue here press G here control D so I want this color only so you can do for rest of the railing so this is a step by step tutorial so I am going to tell you about I can apply railing handrail material so I am going to first trace this because there are a lot of line magic wand tool will not work so much efficiently so it is I am going to create a layer so you will select polygon lasso tool and start tracing this railing so now we are here we are ready to create new layer I am going to create new layer here and I will name this handrail so I am going to apply any dark color uh, light gray color here this G here control D and now I am going to my material here and I will use this steel SSS steel texture material I will open with Photoshop and again edit define pattern ok close this and now I am going to right click this blending option and you will go here pattern overlay and you will look for your this material SS still I will click ok and you can see this is applied here so we have to scale this so I am going to pattern overlay and you can scale this you can change the opacity also here and you can use this outer glow also to give some shining effect if you will use this outer glow you can resize this and give this some shining effect you can see here glowing effect and likewise you will do for rest of the railing so I am not going to do this to because it is taking a lot of time and for door frame also you can create same going to press uh, I'm going to elevation again and start creating door frame and window frame and you can use new layer for this frame and you can apply any wood color press G Ctrl D to get rid of and you can apply texture also if you want. So you are required to repeat for all the window frame and door frame and this railing also. So next is that I am going to apply any uh, this parapet wall design any texture or material. So again you are required to go to elevation and start selecting this. Control Z, Shift, select this also, and I will create new layer, and I will rename this as parapet. And I will apply any 
of color here press G control D and now our parapet design is okay and next is that I want this to be also removed this text and I will write on my text and I have also told that I will write same thing here so you can rename this I will tell you you are required to go to this polygon lasso tool and start tracing this and create a new layer here and I'm going to name this as extrusion 3 and I will apply any color Ctrl D and now I will go to blending option and I want same this HPL cladding here I will go to plaid I turn overlay and I will select this one you can see here I can resize this by scaling and I will adjust and change the opacity here so now I will uh, write I will show I can write text here so I will go to this text command here caps lock on I am going to write can change the text height from here I am going to write so it's a very large here text so it's required to resize this and I am going to use the smaller text first and we am going to write I will use white color here we are so can rename as per your wish and I will reduce over here and you can also give depth also here you can drop side over here give 3d look here and you can apply same text here I'm going to press alt and I will copy this here but it's not showing that means our layer is down of this layer so you are required to drag this copy above this layer and you can see this has appeared here and you can adjust I'm going to press T here and back a space give another space and you can adjust the text here so you can see we have created very fast nice text here with us of house with us of house so now uh, we are ready and we'll do this cladding work and this is some uh, designs which are on our roof terrace so i'm going to first select this magic wand tool and elevation and start selecting this uh, you should uh, turn off your caps lock otherwise uh, this magic wand tool symbol will not appear so i am going to turn off my caps lock press shift to select other things So now uh, this layer is selected and we are also going to select this one, this extrusion on our left side and I will create layer for this and I am going to rename this design parapet, I think we can rename this, apply any color, press G and
control D to get rid of. You can apply any other color also. And we have missed this one, so you can apply if you want to apply material, you are required to go to elevation select this and if I want to apply this one this texture so I right click this and balcony wall select this and press G here so this is some tricks you can do faster here and I want some other color here so I am going to my elevation here and I will create a new layer shift and I am going to create a new layer here and I want stone texture so I am going to create a stone here and apply any color here Control D so I am going to create any stone texture so I will apply this one I am going to right click this open with Photoshop Added again define pattern okay close this and now I am going to right click this blending option and uh, pattern overlay and just select this arrow and apply this stone material here can change the texture here and you can apply this can you use some other setting like inner glow also if you want so now it is almost done this part and likewise or uh, you can create any uh, design here so I am going to apply the same stone material here also so I am going to select first this outer edge here you are required to go to your elevation first here and I am going to select this one and create a new layer and I am going to apply a lighter color here Control D get rid of this and I want same stone texture material here so I am going to magic wand tool elevation I will select this one and then create layer and now I am going to right click this stone press G command here and this stone material is applied here so control D you can see it is applied here you can download any high resolutions also so we have created this almost and you are required to do this railing setting like we have did in and you can apply any SS steel material so now we are required to do this column uh, here boxing and uh, I am going to create layer for column so you are required to go to elevation mode and start creating layers for column so this is apartment so any uh, column boxing is not required so I am going to create a new layer and apply any color here I want light grey so I press this control D so now we are almost done with our elevation and now I am going to tell you how to change the texture and apply trees and plants so I am going to first uh, create wood for this so uh, you can create as per your design so I will tell you roughly that you can show some roads also road textures here a little bit this is roughly I am showing you and you can create any layer for road and you can apply any dark color here or you can select road textures and you can right click this and you can open with Photoshop and you can go to edit define pattern ok close this 
and now I'm going to right click blending option and pattern overlay and now we'll select our book texture here double click this and scale this and now I am going to apply any grass texture here or landscape texture so I am going to select this one uh, first you are required to go to elevation and select this one or I will go to this polygon lasso tool and I will create a layer here so you can create a new layer here and I am going to name this as grass and uh, you are required to apply grass texture I am going to press G command and color is applied so I am going to select this grass texture I am going to right click this and open with photoshop So it's not a JPG format, so we'll download any other grass texture, grass texture here and I'm going to apply this one, I will download this and I will quickly open with Photoshop. And again edit and define pattern ok and we will go to blending option right click the layer grass and we will go to pattern overlay double click this again and uh, check this arrow and select the grass texture here now we have created grass layer here you can download any other uh, landscape also so now we will apply plants car tv and uh, any other things uh, sorry human beings and you can change the background also so now i am going to first apply any background here so we'll select any and i'm going to, and I'm going to select this one and I'm going to open with Photoshop. This is background. First, we'll try this whether it's getting a fit with our design. So now I'm going to select this as a layer. You can convert this to layer, or you can right click here and convert this to layer. And I'm going to drop here on elevation. Control T. And you can enlarge also no problem and I'm going to press this and you can drag this behind our elevation so now you can see background is changed here and it is giving some realistic effect and you can change the opacity here if you want to give any light lighter effect you can give the angle suggest to give lighter effect as we are focusing on our elevation so we can change the opacity and control D so now we can change background like this and you can crop also no problem so now I am going to apply trees and plants here so that it will be it will have good presentation so I am going to my folder again and I am going to apply this palm tree elevation png file you can download it from google and you after this drag and drop and you can rescale this control z and I am going to 
going to select this one. Control J. I will again drag and drop here. And press select tool and for this press alt and I want to keep it this side also. Now we will apply like this trees and plants if you want. And now I am going to apply human being. So I am going to again I have downloaded PNG files and I am going to apply some humans here. I am going to drag and drop here. And you can rescale this. And I am going to scale this to human size. So this boundary wall height is 6 feet. So we will make this as like this. Press OK. And likewise, you can apply car also. We can apply other human beings also and now I am going to apply this car elevation here and you can again resize this and you can set the box scale here for car so likewise you can download png file and apply it here and I think it's almost done here now it's time to write dimension and material details here so how you will do so I am going to first uh, select line tool here and I am going to select black and after selecting line tool change this foreground color black and we'll go here this is the other settings of line and you can change the thickness from here and we are about to here this is the settings of line i'm going to click this and color is default so i'm making it black and i want this arrow arrow heads from start not from end and width will leave default and now i'm going to uh, my elevation here and I will start writing this material here I will drag and drop here and select this tool so this is very thin here save you are required to drag this to top of every layers so that it is appearing here you can change the size here if you want if you want you can do this by selecting the layer and choose this alt and right click this save one and you can change the size and you can also do this by ctrl t press s and we are done here so we can write like this so I am going to write any text here I will press this T and I am going to name this so I am just showing it so caps lock on I am going to say HPL wood cladding okay and you can write your specific and like this after this right click this select the layer I am going to alt and you can write this or another material so I am just showing an example drag this and press T and you can write SS glass railing so likewise you can write your material and and you can write like this your boundary wall height 
and you can change the uh, line weight here on px so i am going to make 5 i can write like this if you want any thicker lines here press select tool and you can select right click here select this text press alt and drag this here and press t again and change this to 5 feet uh, 6 feet boundary wall height and write 6 feet boundary wall and you can also give some detailing here material detailing and you can you can write like this just select and drag this here and now i am going to write suppose pen finish for parapet wall and again you copy this arrow right click this select this save for press alt and drag this here and again right click this sorry alt and try to select this text and finish press alt and drag this here press t and for color design and right here for color design Likewise, you can uh, write height also and dimension also. So, this is very good presentation, and you can write your headings also. You can write on top or you can write on bottom also. So, I'm going to write this elevation design. You can write the client name also. I can change the height select this all text and can change the height from here if you want bigger one also can give this any suitable adding so i think uh, you have understood you should follow and study this two three times so that you can make a very good presentation to your client so this was the tutorial for today's session in the next session i will come with some more interesting topics in photoshop so thanks for watching please like share and subscribe my channel thanks